Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new 2024 Wildwood Grand Lodge 44 view destination trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this beautiful destination trailer. That's the sister product to the Salem Grand Villa. We're going to take a minute, we'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Wildwood Grand Lodge 44 view destination trailer here. Check out this beautiful home away from home right here. This is a spinoff of the very popular 42 view model that they've been selling out of like crazy. Um, but this thing right here has some of the modifications that you guys have asked about. You still have the nice large island here with the beautiful waterfall style countertops. Really nice solid surface. They uh, changed up the little backing here to the ship lap. You also have that LED toe kick light down there. Now, nice amount of room to kind of maneuver around and walk around here. A lot of linoleum floor right here as well. One of the biggest changes is going to be refrigerator placement right here. They moved it from next to the steps here over into the slide out right there. And you have the freezer on bottom, refrigerator part on top, a little bit of storage up there. That scooted the oven over a little bit and also changed up. You can see here you have three large drawers and some storage, plus that big insignia oven that everybody seems to love. And you also have that four burner cooktop. Large LG microwave with quite a bit of storage above and beside that. Now this is another change up, having this little slide out pantry set up here. That's a pretty cool space saver right there. Still have the little bar stool set up. You got some light switches and electric switches underneath of the uh, counter there, or electric outlets. Some storage also underneath of there as well. Look at the huge windows on this thing. Power shades. TV is on the televator, so that'll go up and down. You have your Furion sound bar and your electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. Now where they had the refrigerator previously, we now have the half bath that a lot of you have asked for. So right here, it's a little vent fan, some shelf space, a mirror, beautiful solid surface countertops throughout most of the RV, porcelain foot flush toilet, But there is the half bath that many of you have asked about. They finally did it for you. Big sliding glass entry exit door here. You have that really nice kind of spiral staircase still going up. One of your AC controls, some lights, a slide button, uh, water pump button, monitor panels for the holding tank, dimmer switch for some of your upper lights. And they now have the 60,000 BTU Suburban on-demand water heater. I'm pretty sure it's 60,000 BTUs. Uh, but it is now the on-demand water heater that some of you also asked for on the 42 view. They have now implemented that across the board into their newer models going forward. Up here, there's some TV hookups over there. Now, one thing that did change as well, we lost the third bunk mattress that was here because they had to raise the height for that half bath that everybody wanted. So technically you do lose a bunk, but you still have quite a bit of storage space up here. The windows up here all open. 
Let's crawl back in here and see what we got going on. All right, so we got electric outlet back there, USB charger ports, some little cubbies here. Another electric outlet and light switch over there. Looks like same thing back there. And then one of the Coleman ducted ACs right here. Get you a look from up top here. Tell me in the comments down below, do you think you could tiny home live in something like this? This is pretty crazy. This is not your everyday camper. This thing is definitely a home on wheels. And speaking of wheels, you'll see when we get outside now, this one is a triple axle. Where last year's 42 view model was a double axle. So that is going to be a little different pulling wise for some of you folks that are actually traveling with these things. I know most of you typically take them and park them, but this is definitely something that with a triple axle will be a little easier for you to tow and maneuver around. Although this thing coming in as long and heavy as it is, is really meant to be a destination trailer. Down here we have the little ottoman which has some storage in it. You also have this L-shaped sofa here that will flip out and make into a bed so you could sleep a couple extra guests here. Little televator area right there, pretty cool. And even this is a really nice solid surface countertop right here. Even the top up there. Now another thing I noticed that appears to have changed from the 42 view, it had a little door that opened here. Well, now they made this kind of a solid surface counter here, it looks like, and it actually flips up for some storage down there. So that is a little bit different. Stairway stayed about the same, it looks like. Now check out this area up here. This changed up as well. So this has a queen bed up here. So this camper has a camper king in the master bedroom, a queen bed up here, and two bunks. So I think this is probably one of the only RVs that I've seen in a destination trailer that has a king, queen, and little bunk mattresses. Over there, you have a couple drawers that pull out, some more counter space, USB charger ports, electric outlets up here. There's also TV hookups over there. This thing is super cool. And then right down here at the foot of the steps, you're gonna have a central vac with the dustpan vac feature as well. Bathroom area, very similar to the 42 view. So you have that glassed sliding shower door there, little sit down seat, step in tub area. Really nice shower head setup. And then you can do the stackable washer dryer if you want. That is another really nice feature to consider if you're gonna extended stay or full time in one of these type of things. If you don't do the washer dryer, it's just a big closet. Little vent fan back there. Electric box with the breakers and fuses, some linen space, little drawer and flip down like sponge holder thingy there. Nicely done on the sink area here. That changed up a little bit as well. A little motion light down there too. Porcelain foot flush toilet. 
This unit having that double drop frame, one in the front, one in the back section, just really allows for a lot of uh, uniqueness to the floor plan setup. Little pivot hinge door action going on there. Now this one is Lippert Thin Shade ready on your door here. You'll see the door changed up a little bit on the outside when we get out there as well. But check this thing out. Hopefully this checks a lot of the boxes that you guys were asking for on the 42 view model. All right, now let's check out this master bedroom area right here. So we have some little cubbies right outside the bedroom door entrance there. Then here we have the camper king bed right here. So you have some storage underneath of there that'll actually raise up. There's storage above your bed as well. You do have the little uh, end table on the left side there, electric outlet, USB charger ports. So we have a mirror on the left side here. Then you obviously have three more mirrors there, but those are actually cabinet uh, doors that open up. So you have some storage, hanging closet space there, little drawer space, and an electric fireplace down there as well. You have four drawers. Full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers right there that pull out, giving you quite a bit of space. TV hookups here as well, so you could set your TV in this area if you wanted to. Let's step back here, just check this out. Look at all of this view space here. That has manual roller shades in the bedroom area, but you do have those power ones outside. Now this bed is on the little televator button here. So back in behind here, again, another pivot door here. You have one of your AC controls, light switch, and then you have the Versa tilt bed right here as well. So all you gotta do is push the button, and this does raise up. Now I do occasionally get a question about why is it not close to the bed, this button? And that is because they really don't want you on the bed, kind of surfing on it while it's going up and down. Uh, they would prefer that you put it in up mode and then be able to sit on it and actually watch TV or something, read a book, whatever you might want to do. All right, let's head to the outside. I want to show you around the outside real quick. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Wildwood Grand Lodge 44 view destination trailer here. We're gonna start here on the door side, work our way around for you. So first things up, you have a white fiberglass exterior, black metal skirting at the bottom, and a lot of deep tent safety glass windows. You have power awning, LED light strip built in. You have a support foot in the middle, adjustable arms for tilting, and a manual override in the front arm head in case of electronic failure. Double entry door here. You have that large tinted glass door there, large folding handle, traditional hover style step. You can see the new 44 view has the triple axle, drum brakes, easy lube hubs. Two outdoor speakers here. There is also TV hookup right here. And then you can see this nice little serving shelf that's detachable as well. They've gone to the new black glass entry door here on the back as well. 
traditional hover style step there. Those steps are rated for 300 pounds. On around to the back side here, you have a traditional flat back rear end. There is a cable outlet back here. You also have that fan coming out the back. Detachable power cord. It is a 50 amp electric power cord right here. This one had the washer dryer feature in it as well. So you're seeing that washer dryer vent there as well. A dump down below, low point water drains, dump area right here, and another dump area right there. The on-demand water heater right here, little, little compartment area up there as well. You have these slide toppers on here as well. Those are really nice, helps shade the room, does a lot of repelling of leaves, twigs, debris, water, that type of stuff. You also have your stove exhaust right there. This little compartment right here, very nicely done. This will be on the Wildwood and also on the Salem uh, Grand Villa as well. Just an access panel door to get to the back of your refrigerator. Right there, you're gonna have your furnace, fresh water fill, city water, and your black tank flush. You have another water drain here for that fresh water tank. There's also another grab handle underneath there, or not grab handle, but another dump handle there as well which feeds that half bath to the dump area behind the axles back there. Another uh, vent fan right there for the half bath. But nice little setup here. Now on the side right here, they're gonna be some very important informational stickers. So for example, we have production date sticker. This uh, camper was built 11-9 of 23. It has three 6,000 pound axles. You have a gross weight of 16,200 pounds. Your VIN number as well, tire pressure, a few things on here. And we have our dry weight sticker telling us 14,502 pounds dry. Exterior length, 45 feet, two inches. Tire size, ST23580R16E range tires with an 80 PSI cold rating. All right, guys, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. And as always, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps out my channel. Thanks again.